Blake Levine, and today I have an educational talk about bipolar depression, when things go from boom to gloom. And over many years of helping others with bipolar disorder, I have found that one of the great parts of this illness is that there's a lot of creativity in many of our minds, and sometimes people with bipolar have the courage to go out there and pitch new projects or new ideas or concepts. And what I have found to be hardest for some people is during the times where they're feeling like, hey, you know, I have a new idea or new project, and they go and they put their efforts to putting it together, there's kind of an excitement and a joy. Even sometimes it's thrilling to be working on something you're passionate about. And sadly, sometimes when you do that and you put something together, it can go from feeling like, hey, this is a boom, things are going to work out, I'm so excited. And then you start to feel gloom if it doesn't work out as you have hoped. And I've seen different types of people with bipolar. There are some that are stable, that can put out projects and do it in a healthy manner and that are saying, you know what, I'm going to do my best and give it my full effort. And if it works out, great. If it doesn't, you know what, I'll understand that sometimes things don't go as hoped. And that's a very positive way to live with bipolar and to do things because any creative person, whether it be an artist or a writer or someone that creates things, when they create things, they have to believe that it's going to work out and be um, something that will be successful. And then they have to learn to overcome obstacles or challenges and sometimes even failure. And then I've seen some with bipolar that are actually manic and that do things that don't make any sense. They, you know, try to open a restaurant when they barely know how to cook or don't really have any idea of what it's like to run a restaurant or they want to have a business that's going to uh, generate billions of dollars when they're really just beginning and don't know the ins and outs of that industry. So what I would say to anyone with bipolar is to first make sure you're stable and figure out, you know what, where am I at mentally? If I'm doing well and life is good, maybe that's the time to try some new ideas and new projects. If you're really struggling and you're sad or depressed or your moods are all over the place, maybe it's not the ideal time to begin projects. Maybe it means you should go seek support from a therapist or a doctor and try to get your health in check. And then for people that are actually out there trying to make things happen, I have to say that we are kind of in a downtime in our economy that has made projects um, much more difficult to see success with. And I think that anyone with or without bipolar has to know that if it's a down, depressed time, it's much harder to see success. And when you say, you know what, I'm going to still try and put in my full effort, I'm going to do whatever I can, but I'm going to remember that in a downtime, maybe. Out of a hundred things, only one or two will work out uh, and be very successful. And that has helped me in my own life. Um, I just put out a new book and I always have high hopes for my projects, but I have very realistic part of me that says, you know what, I finished my book, it's published, it's in stores, I put it out to the people I know. I've tried my best to market it and share it and then I leave it up to God and I say, God, you know what, whatever you want with this project, if you see it selling millions, great. If you see it selling thousands, great. If you see it selling a hundred, then I appreciate that you gave me the ability to create it and put it out there. And I leave you with that. When you have bipolar and you actually put your ideas into the world, it's so beautiful because many bipolar people are writers, are actors, are musicians, are dancers, are business owners. And we need some of the genius that is part of living with bipolar because in my own life, I've had the ability to do many awesome projects, whether it be coming up in social work school with rap therapy to teach inner city kids to write song and dance about their lives and then spending several years turning it into a documentary interviewing 50 Cent and Russell Simmons and P. Diddy and Ludacris and Reverend Rund or writing books whether it be Beating Bipolar that came out a few years ago published by Hay House or Depression, Bipolar and Heroin about my brother facing uh, addiction and losing his life. You know, I have found that it's such a great gift to have these ideas and to do our best to put them in the world. And it takes courage and confidence to say, you know what, I don't know how successful something will be, but I'm going to have the bravery to put myself out there and to try. Because I've met many great singers or people and they have gifts and they're scared to actually give it a shot and let people see what they have. And I encourage you, if you're bipolar, get yourself mentally stable and then share what you have to offer because you know it, a failure is someone that doesn't even try to me a success is someone with the courage to say you know what 
I'm putting out there what I believe in. I'm sharing it. I'm doing my best. And then we'll see what the universe brings. I pray for you today that things get better, that you're filled with light and love and hope. Thank you for watching this video. And uh, I appreciate you checking out the channel here and my website below. We do coaching and I have many books. Hopefully you'll check out. You have a great day. Thanks.